Hello St. Joseph University Hawks and welcome to the 2020 Hockeys, a celebration of the hard work and successes of our 2019-2020 season. This is our first time on the virtual format and with that we are excited at the opportunity to expand our audience beyond just the St. Joe's athletic community. We know that this event is paired best with the camaraderie of teammates and a catered breakfast from Airmark. For this I have no remedy and I wholeheartedly apologize. I am beyond excited to once again host this fantastic event. As a transplant in Philadelphia, the family of St. Joseph's Athletics has made me feel at home since day one on campus. I am forever grateful to the wonderful people in our athletic department and the tremendous effort they put in day, out, day in and day out to see our student athletes reach their highest potential on the field, in the classroom, and in some members of the community. I'd like to take the time to personally thank Janet and Taylor for being at my side through the good and bad. I apologize for my four years, three major changes, three minor changes, three withdrawals, and somehow you guys were able to find a way to get me to graduate on time. No problem of mine was too big or too small for you guys to tackle and treat with the utmost care. Your wisdom stretched far beyond school and your advice has helped me find a purpose in life beyond athletics. We athletes cannot thank the entire educational support team enough for the tremendous mentorship, selflessness, and friendship that you provide. To all of my fellow seniors moving on to new opportunities, thank you for everything. You should be proud of every minute of hard work, every ounce of sweat, and every moment of your career. You should be proud of the impact you made on the field, in your teammates' lives, and the programs that surround you. Not just from your time at St. Joe's, but from the very moment that you found out you loved your sport. The lessons you have learned along your journey will position you to find success in any path that you choose to follow. The 2019-2020 athletic season was filled with triumphs, new beginnings, and record-breaking performances. Individual highlights were abundant. Cam Brown and Ryan Daly both hit insane buzzer baiters against Davidson. Michael O'Brien took medalist honors with a 10 under par 61 and got a course record to boot. Zach Michon secured his third Atlantic 10 gold medal this season. Team success was easy to find as well. The field hockey team continued its dominance as they won a third consecutive Atlantic 10 title. Spring sports showed tremendous promise as our lacrosse team found the national rankings after knocking off number 20 Delaware. Our baseball team also started the season red hot by routing Ohio State in their opening game. Off the field, St. Joe's athletes found successes as well. Senior track and field standout Caroline Duffy has gained much media traction by spearheading a coalition of student athletes to form Hawks Minded, a platform designed specifically to help student athletes combat mental health issues. Greater access to resources, decreased stigma of using these mental health resources, and a peer group of student-athletes dedicated to this cause has distinguished St. Joe's Athletics as a trailblazer in the mission of student-athlete well-being. As a member of this organization, I am beyond impressed with the passion and leadership of our underclassmen, and I am excited to see what the future holds of this organization. Our strength program has invested in state-of-the-art equipment in pursuit of pushing our student-athletes closer to their true athletic potential. These investments allow our fantastic strength and conditioning coaches to push athletes to new heights. I would be remiss if I did not mention the incredible heartbreak found in our 2020 spring athletes, not just at St. Joe's, but throughout the nation. As student-athletes, we have a finite amount of time to leave an impact at our institution. Unfortunately, it isn't until the conclusion of our time that we come to realize this truth. Athletes across the entire NCAA are amid a sacrifice greater than any we have ever seen. We have been asked to prematurely give up the thing we love, our life's pursuit, and part of our identity. By hanging up our cleats, we are doing something bigger than ourselves, bigger than sport. We are playing a part in ensuring the safety and prosperity of our teammates, our opponents, our fans, and our nation. I know that when we return, we will return stronger, we will savor every moment of work, every moment of competition, every moment we have the privilege of being in the brotherhood or sisterhood of our teammates. We will return hungrier and more motivated 
knowing that nothing in this world is guaranteed. When we are back, and we will be back, nothing will be able to stop us. The hawk will never die. Now, for the fun part. Hey everyone, it's Taylor from Educational Support. I first want to thank Noah for another great introduction to the Hawkeys. I am here to kick off our awards with the Award for Educational Support Services for Student Athletes. This award goes to a male and female who have continually worked hard in the classroom, someone who always makes their meetings and always makes their study hall hours in our office, and someone who has really continued to grind every semester that they've been at St. Joe's to become a better student. The award winner is Giancarlo Herrera from Women's Softball. Congratulations, JC. Thank you for all of your hard work over the last four years. You were just a few days away from graduation, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm delighted to announce this year's Support Area Award recipient for Educational Support Services for Student Athletes. This year's winner is Owen Lyons of the Men's Rowing Team. Congratulations, Owen. You've worked hard every day in the true spirit of the hawk will never die. Hi Hawks, Nikki Philpott here to bring you our next award. This is our Athletics Communications Award, and this is presented to a student athlete who has gone above and beyond in working with our office for all things media relations. We have selected two recipients this year, and our first Athletics Communications Award recipient for the 2019-20 academic year is Mike Adler, the senior captain from the men's lacrosse team. An All-American goalkeeper with an intriguing background in sharks and surfing, Mike has never turned down an interview request across university, local, and national levels, and has done so in a way that makes St. Joseph's University proud. Our second Athletics Communications Award for the 2019-20 academic year goes to Caroline Duffy, a senior captain on the women's track and field teams. Back in October, Caroline founded Hawks Minded, our new mental health peer support group for student athletes, and she went on to sit down with our office to courageously tell her personal story and a selfless effort to reach more people. Congratulations, Mike and Caroline, and thank you for exemplifying day in and day out what it means to be people for others. Hello Hawks, Eric Lodano here to bring you our next award. Three awards in the area of strength and conditioning here. Our male strength and conditioning player of the year, our female strength and conditioning player of the year, and our strength and conditioning team of the year. These awards are given to the male and female student athlete and team who has demonstrated work ethic, dedication, and overall development with our strength and conditioning coaches. Our male student athlete strength and conditioning player of the year is Jordan DiValerio, senior pitcher, baseball team. Our female student athlete strength and conditioning player of the year is Jordan Olenjinski, forward, junior on our field hockey team. And our strength and conditioning team of the year is our men's lacrosse team. Congratulations, everyone. Hello, Hawks. Eric Lodano here to bring you our next award. This is our Student Athlete Comeback Player of the Year. This is awarded to a male and female student athlete who has persevered through injury the past year. Our male Student Athlete Comeback Player of the Year is John Walker, Senior Distance Runner, Men's Track and Field. Our female Student Athlete Comeback Player of the Year is Sam McGee, Attack Women's Lacrosse. Congratulations, John and Sam. Great job on your rehab. The Sportsmanship Award honors a student athlete who with every competition and practice respects and honors the game, the officials, their teammates, and opponents. Now to find this year's winner, I have to sift through Taylor's 5,000 emails. Um, so bear with me here. Oh, there it is. The winner this year, Jenna Leonzi from Women's Soccer. Hello Hawks, Eric Lodano here to present our next award. This award is a High Performance Impact Student Athlete of the Year. This is awarded to a male or female student athlete who has made a greater impact on the student athlete population this past year. This year, the award goes to Senior Women's Track Captain Student Athlete Caroline Duffy. Caroline has established our Hawks Minded Student Athlete Mental Health Peer Support Group and has made a tremendous impact this year in our student athlete population and will make an impact in the future years for future Hawks. Caroline, congratulations, great job. You made a difference in our student athlete population in our athletics department. We can't thank you enough. Congratulations on receiving this award. Great job. This year for the Hawkeys, we wanted to give the student athletes at home a vote on some of our new awards. 
So here are your 2019-2020 hockey superlatives. The winners for the most Hawk spirit go to Tim Cavanaugh of men's baseball and Olivia Tevis of women's lacrosse. Congratulations, guys. Oh, well, hello there. Good afternoon. My name is Joe Lunston, senior baseball manager here on Hawk Hill. Many years know me as Looney. I've been chosen today to award a very prestigious honor here at the Hawkies. Most likely to become CEO, besides myself. These two individuals have what it takes to rise to this position, one of which had a breakdown mid-practice as Tesla's stock plummeted by 14%, and the other, who was the only person in a four-hour film class who paid attention the entire time. It's with my great honor to present this award, most likely to become CEO, to Chris Skirmo and Bridget Cerciello. Everyone seems to be growing a quarantine beard right now, but these guys have been rocking facial hair all year long. Your winners for best beard are Anthony Longpre from men's basketball, Sebastian Eaton from men's track, and Nate Thomas from baseball. We all know those teammates where the second they get something, it's only a matter of time before they lose it. Whether it be team issued apparel, homework, wallet, keys, or even their cell phone. This year, the SAC committee has come up with an award, the most likely to win the lottery, but somehow lose the ticket. This year's winners, Kayla Abity from women's softball and Sam Sauter from men's tennis. And now for the manager of the year award, the hockey goes to this fine gentleman uh, is the manager for one of our fine sports teams at St. Joseph's university. Uh, this, this young man um, is uh, has some, some people below him or as he thinks below him, uh, in the managing world, he has three people that he kind of gives his duties to that come up from the, uh, you know, the head coach guy, go to go to this gentleman, then he passes them on to his executives to do those jobs for him. Um, he is the best at not doing his job. Uh, his name is Joseph Lundstein, the baseball manager. Congrats, Joe. Congrats for all the work you don't do um, on, on the baseball field. Hey everyone, it's Jill, and I'm here to present to you the recipients of this year's Class of 1950 Award, which is presented annually to the most outstanding student athlete on a men's team and the most outstanding student athlete on a women's team. This award is the highest university honor presented to student athletes here at St. Joseph's University. As you know, our focus in St. Joe's Athletics is on helping each of you reach your potential as a person, as a student, and as an athlete. And all three of those things certainly go into our consideration of the Class of 1950 award winners. This year, there were several extremely deserving candidates, and we had a very robust discussion. At the end of the day, both selected honorees are perfect fits for the Class of 1950 award. First off, the most outstanding student athlete on a women's team goes to a senior on the field hockey team who, along with her outstanding classmates, helped lead our field hockey program to three Atlantic 10 championships and three NCAA tournament bursts during their four years on Hawk Hill. This international business and finance major holds multiple St. Joe's field hockey records and was honored as both a second team and third team All-American during her career. Off the field, our honoree is a great teammate and friend, extremely passionate about whatever she puts her mind to, and invested everything she had into her St. Joe's experience. Ladies and gentlemen, from Karts, Germany, number 64, senior field hockey goalkeeper, Vic Kamarinka. Congratulations, Vic. Next, our Class of 1950 award for the most outstanding student athlete on a men's team goes to a senior cross country and track student athlete who will be remembered as one of the greatest runners in the illustrious history of St. Joe's. Our recipient won the A-10 cross country championship in 2019 in electrifying fashion, defeating the defending champion by 3.9 seconds. Our award winner sits atop the indoor track record book in the 3000 meters here at St. Joe's and has the third best indoor mile time in history at just under four minutes and five seconds. 
Off the track, our recipient has served as an outstanding captain and team leader and always represents St. Joe's with pride and passion. One of my favorite memories is watching him cross that finish line at the A-10 championship as he pointed to the name on the front of his jersey. Congratulations to senior IHS major with a minor in pharmaceutical marketing from Robbinsville, New Jersey, Zach Michon. Again, many congratulations to Zach and Vic and thank you for everything you gave to St. Joseph's University during your time. Best wishes. Hi everyone. I hope you're enjoying the hockey today. This is Jana Greeter. I'm the Director of Educational Support Services for Student Athletes. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to reflect on some things that I've either learned or observed over the last seven weeks. First, be present for those who are important to you in your life. The small stuff counts. Be thankful for a normal day. Take nothing for granted. It can be gone in a blink of an eye. Be gracious to those who have done so much for you. Be hopeful for the future. Find things that bring you joy. Working towards the collective good, you can accomplish almost anything. Reflect on the moments that have changed your life and learn from them. And most importantly, say I love you. It's the number one on the list. It's on my door. You can check it out when you get back to campus. For you seniors, this year is historical, something that we won't forget for years and years and years to come. But more importantly, it's those enduring friendships and those memories that will last a lifetime that are most important. Best of luck as you move forward on your new journey in life, whether it's getting a job or going to grad school or professional school, and some of you coming back to Hawk Hill. To everyone else, good luck on finals. Have a great summer. Can't wait to see you in August. Go Hawks. Hey everybody, it's Jill again, just here to offer some thank yous and uh, kind of wrap things up. Um, last year's group of student athletes was really special to me because it was my first year at St. Joe's and my first year ever as an athletic director. Uh, this year's group is special in a very different way, and namely, we've lived through history together. What I'm gonna remember about this year is your resilience, your selflessness, and your ability to adapt during unprecedented times. I want you to know that I brag about our student athletes anytime I talk to my fellow ADs, and I remain convinced that we have something really special going on here when it comes to our amazing student athletes and the connections that you all form with each other, with your coaches, and with the staff. It truly feels like family here on Hawk Hill, now more so than ever. And so from the bottom of my heart, many thanks to each and every one of you for your part in making St. Joe's such a special place. I want to offer a couple uh, specific thank yous. First, to the leadership of SAC, Slater O'Brien, and the many others who did a fantastic job all year, uh, but particularly holding it together and making things like this version of the Hockeys come together. Thank you. Um, thanks to all who participated in the Leadership Academy. We look forward to continuing to grow that uh, and make it bigger and better in future years. A special shout out to the steering committee members and those seniors who I really, really got to know very well. Uh, that includes Julia Pash, Molly Capala, Michael O'Brien, Slam Dunkley, Isis Gil-Reed, Hayden Sieg, Slater O'Brien, and Emily Bracken, and Elaine Estes uh, before she graduated. You're a really, really special group, and I so valued your input and engagement as we work together to drive this department to new heights. I expect big things from all of you. Another special thank you to Caroline Duffy and everyone else uh, who participated in the creation of Hawks Minded, the peer support group for student athletes. Your commitment to the well-being of each other is your legacy here at St. Joe's and I'm confident that it's going to live on for years. Finally, and I'll try not to get too emotional here, but to our seniors, the spring is not what you wanted or expected. From virtual classes to a new mode of commencement, uh, to abruptly canceled seasons and a general lack of closure. None of those things was ideal. But it's times like this that have an amazing ability to bond us together in ways that simply don't happen, can't happen when we're in normal state. My hope for you is that these times will always help you remember not to take the little or the big things in life for granted that you understand more deeply than ever the importance of human connection and the, of compassion for others, that you will be the most adaptable generation this world has ever known, and that you didn't and that you don't let the last few months define your experience on Hawk Hill. Best wishes to each and every one of you as you make plans for the next chapter of your lives. Stay safe, stay connected, and thank you. The Hawk will never die. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 Hockeys. 
I hope this video finds everyone and their loved ones safe and well. We wish everyone a healthy, fun, and productive summer. Thank you. The hawk will never die.